Nothing like a great hot pot meal on a cold winter's day. For this buffet, we got all the ingredients from a local Chinese grocery. So an Asian grocery is your best bet. You can get the shaved meat from an Asian market such as H Mart. We were lucky to have gotten shaved lamb and beef from our local Chinese American community. And notice that it's sliced extremely thin. The greens are romaine lettuce and snow pea greens. Lotus root, sliced thin, uncooked shrimp, long mushroom, fish balls, lunch meat, rice noodle, rice cakes, and any other small ingredients you think you can cook quickly. For the pot broth, Nea used a Chinese hot pot spice mix, a few bamboo shoots, some oyster sauce. But you can really use anything. Chicken broth, pork bone broth, veggie broth, and something to give it a little bit of hot spicy flavor. You'll need an electric hot plate, and we got one from Amazon with a nice ceramic top. Quicker to first boil the broth on the stove top if it's nearby, but that's not required. Nancy also made a peanut sesame dipping sauce. She used fresh roasted sesame seeds ground up in a coffee grinder, mixed in with peanut butter, a teaspoon of soy sauce, teaspoon of vinegar, and oyster sauce. A small sieve makes a perfect boiled basket. For the greens, just scalding for a few seconds is fine. Lotus root mushrooms, maybe around 30 seconds. Dredge the meat for no more than 10 seconds. It cooks really fast because it's so thin. Shrimp, up to a minute. The lunch meat is pre-cooked, so you can just warm that up. Fish balls and rice cakes take maybe a minute, maybe two minutes. That's it. You can dip the cooked stuff into the dipping bowl and drop into another bowl to gather more food or just eat one at a time as you go. Enjoy!